everybody and welcome to video one of creating song arrangements in Note Flight. So here are the three plans and I used the free plan for years. You only get 10 scores but I ended up just erasing what I had used because I didn't need to keep it and I was able to use that for a really long time. But then I decided to go to the premium plan and you get so much more with the premium plan you can create as many things as you need you get to keep them uh, you can organize them uh, so many great uh, features uh, in downloading and mp3s and pdfs and it's only 49 dollars per year and that is such a great deal and i think it they run a sale and i ended up getting it for 29 dollars a year and you just can't beat that Note Flight Learn is uh, if you're going to use it in your classroom. So that would be um, something to consider as well. But I'm using it more for um, kind of commercial use. But you could certainly do this for the classroom as well, which is really the point of these videos. So you just come up here to create, and it defaults to a lead sheet, which is fine. We can make all kinds of changes later. Uh, it lets you pick all sorts of pre-formatted um, scores, which will save you a lot of time if there's a, like piano and vocal instead of uh, creating it from scratch. But we're just going to start with a lead sheet. And I have four measures. I'm going to create a song called Dog and Cat. And it's a folk song. And so it's in 2-4. So if I come over here, this is my menu on the left. And if it's checked, it appears up in the top as well. Uh, so if there are times where I can get so many things up in the top that it pushes my page down. And so sometimes I'll come back and I'll get rid of some of those. Um, but this is where you're going to find everything over here on this left side. So I'm going to go ahead and, believe it or not, go to measure. And I'm going to change the time signature. And we're going to come down here to 2, 4. Okay. I'm going to click on the white space and that will get rid of that extra page. And now I'm in 2, 4. But because I had highlighted that first measure, it only gave me two measures of 2, 4. So I really want the whole thing to for it. So if you come over here on the left and click, it'll it'll um, highlight every single measure in your piece uh, on that particular line or staff. And so I'm going to come back to measure and I'm going to do two four again. Okay, and that didn't do it. Okay, so I'm going to come here and highlight and go down to measure and change time signature to 4. Okay, so now I have it in 2-4 and I also want it in the key of G major. So I'm going to come back to measure and I'm going to go to key signature, it's in a major, G, okay, I'm ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to start with a G, so I'm going to click on the measure and it'll show me a note and I'm going to put in G and I actually need uh, an eighth note so I'm going to come up here and click on eighth note. Um, there is a faster way to do it and I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to come back to G again and I need it to be a sixteenth note. So instead of coming up here and picking up the sixteenth note I am going to go to my keyboard next to the letter P and there's two brackets and the left bracket makes the note um, shorter in duration and the right bracket makes it longer in duration so I'm going to hit the left bracket and it immediately turns into a sixteenth note now whatever note you have it's going to continue that with that note so I need in the note B so I'm going to uh, actually that's wrong I need another G so I'm going to slide that down and then I'm going to come here and put the B in. 
but I need a quarter note, so I'm going to hit the right bracket two times. Boom, boom. And now I've got my first measure. Now I can go in this open space in the measure, and the whole measure will be highlighted, and I can do Command C, and then click the next measure, and call it, um, Command V. There's an even faster way to do it. So if I come back up here to my edit menu and I undo that and I come back here and this first measure is highlighted, if I just hit the letter R, no command, no control, nothing, just the letter R, it will repeat that measure right there and that is so fast. All right, now next measure I need a G and I need an eighth note, so I'm going to hit that left bracket. Now, you can also enter notes with your keyboard um, by letter name. So I'm going to do that now instead of dragging. The reason I drag sometimes, though, instead of inputting with the keyboard, is that my hand is already on my trackpad, and I've, I've really become pretty speedy at it. So um, I'm going to come back here and hit a B. I guess I need to highlight that first. Mm-hmm, not. Now I need an A, and a G. Oops, I hit F. All right, and then the next one. Oops. Now, I hit the delete, and it got rid of that. So let me put in G, E, D. Now all of those were eighth notes, so that was super easy to do with the keyboard. And then the next thing I need is a G. Now I need that to be uh, a quarter note, so I'm gonna hit the right bracket. And then I'm just gonna go back to my favorite way to do this. <laughs> and that needs to be a quarter note and quarter note. Now I don't need these two measures, so I can you know, see if I tap somewhere that note's going to appear. So I'm just going to come over here to the open space and that'll stop that. Now you just saw that measure pop up. I'm going to come above this measure and uh, I can play. There's a little play sign. I can hit the minus sign which will take away the measure. Oh no, it's playing. Okay. Let's see. There it goes. It was so close to the play button that that's why it did it. So I can come back up here again to this one. Oh, it's still in play mode. Okay. Come up here, hit that, and I am to the six measures that I need. Now, I can listen to the whole thing, which is really cool. So I'm going to come up here and play it. sounds like a machine gun so I'm gonna change the tempo so while uh, I'm gonna come over here to tempo and I'm gonna go down I'm at 105 I think okay there we go 105 all right we'll see what we think of 105 all right I think that's pretty good now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna call this uh, a folk song I uh, hit the return button and I'm going to go arranged in my name because I'm going to end up making an ORF arrangement of this. Uh, the subtitle and lyricist I'm going to leave blank. Uh, when I print this off those will not appear. So um, I think this is kind of large, too large for me. So I love this formatting option. So you come up here to formatting and it opens up uh, lots of formatting options. Uh, if I come to sizing, I love this. You can make your notes really big, which is great if you um, do a screenshot or however you want to do it and you put it in a PowerPoint so you can project to your kids. Uh, but I'm going to go to text and the title, um, I'm going to pull it down a little bit you also have a whole host of fonts that you can use if you want to get uh, particular about it. 
but I'm just going to move the title down to 18 and I'm going to use the composer and lyricist down to 14. I'm just going to pull them down a little bit to give everything a little bit more room up there. All right, so now we have the song in. I like the tempo and I want to come up here to save and make sure I save it. If you forget to save it and you click out of your tab, it will save it in, for you, sort of. The next time you open up NoteFlight, a, a box will pop up and say, you didn't save your last, you know, creation. Do you want to save now? And it gives you the option to save it, which is fabulous. Um, it, Cause you sh certainly don't want to lose, um, lose your work. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and now I'm going to put the lyrics in. So I'm going to come here to the first note and I'm going to hit Command L and I'm going to start to input my lyrics. Here I go. Bot space bar will take me to the next note. Me space note A space bar dog comma and it's uh, pretty great that I'm writing that right now because maybe you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> uh, bot space bar, me space bar, a space bar cat, comma, space bar. Um, they both fight but do not mind that period space bar. Now, a lot of words in a little bitty space, so it automatically changed it for me. I can change it back later if I want to. Now my first hyphen. Hi, uh-oh. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back, undo, I can do uh, control or command Z, um, and I'm gonna highlight it and do command L, and I'm gonna put in hi, hyphen and the hyphen is like the space bar it'll move it to the next note O. now i don't need a hyphen so i'm going to space bar my now i have another hyphenated word darling so i'm going to put the hyphen in ling period and i'm done all right now if i want to do a second verse it took me a long time to figure out second verses i click well, let me go back a minute. Let's say I had misspelled this word. I click on it and then I double click and it opens it up for editing. So all you have to do is double click on a word and you can fix anything that you need to fix. So let's say I wanted to fix several things. So I'm gonna erase and I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna hit the space bar and it's going to go to the next word. It doesn't erase anything. So if I need to edit it, I'm going to have to delete it myself. And it just proceeds through and then it highlights what you already have. All right, so I'm going to go, I'm going to double click here. And then I'm going to hit the return button. And it's going to look messy. But this is what threw me off for so long. So I'm going to do a second verse. And I'm going to say this, and that looks awful but I'm gonna hit the space bar, boom. It goes down and becomes your second verse. Is my second verse, ha ha. All right, so I'm gonna go back and take that out. Um, but that's how you do a second verse. Double click, hit the return button, and it looks weird, but just start typing and it will appear as your second verse. It's really cool. All right, we are gonna stop there for video one. In video two, we're gonna to start to add the ORF parts. Before we go, I'll just say that I'm gonna come up and save one more time. And then if I come over here to the, orange, or the note, it slides the top over. And if I go into this orange space, this is where all my scores, um, my recent scores will appear. And then if I want to go to all of my scores, I would just hit my scores and it'll take me to my big page. 
recent scores are right here. And if I want to create, um, I would just hit that button if I wanted to do something else. But when you slide up here, <laughs> come up here, it slides that over and that's how you get to the side. All right, that's all for video one. Uh, looking forward to video two. Ah, there's my dog. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.